Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Geography King reaction, and this video of his is US license plates ranked. For me, this is just me seeing the license plates, but this was suggested quite a few times in recent um, videos that I've posted. I've seen it in the comment section a lot, and people are obviously interested in me seeing this. It's something that I never thought I'd ever look at. I've just made a massive bang. Ho hopefully, that wasn't too loud. Um, it's something that I never thought I'd ever react to, but I mean, I'm here now, and I'm now going to see this. Maybe it'll be a lot more interesting than I initially sort of had planned months back because like, I was never sort of saw, I'd never seen myself looking at this kind of stuff, but it did kind of interest me when people were suggesting it. I was like, you know, I've never done anything like this before. So, I mean, why not give it a try? But I just want to see um, you, UK number plates because when I think of number plates, I don't think of anything sort of spectacular. I literally just think it's just the thingy on the back, the numbers and the, the letters, right? It's like a weird, it's like a yellow colour. That's literally it, isn't it? I swear, unless it's changed recently, but yeah, number plates in the UK are the most boring thing you'll ever, <laughs> you'll ever see. But I'm guessing in the US, they're a lot different and they're a lot more sort of exciting. But I mean, I don't know, we'll just check this out and see. Maybe I'm waffling here, maybe they're all similar, but I'm expecting because there's been a video made on this, there should be some really interesting ones, but who knows but let's get into this one quick shout out to my instagram my twitter links are all there for those who want to follow same for my patreon links are all there for who those who want to check out my patreon but let's give us a watch and let's see what where these license plates are ranked and what they actually look like i don't know what to expect howdy. here at all at all howdy it's kyle ranking the license plates for the 50 states dc and the five u.s territories I'll only be looking at the standard issue license plates, not the specialty ones or the ones you have to pay extra money for, just the regular ones. The territories are supposed to like Guam vehicle. and stuff, yeah. This might not seem like a very big deal, but Guam. a license plate is kind of like an advertisement for your Coffee. state. So if you're far away from home or you're on a road trip, and it's a way for people from other states to see what represents your state. Put your, put I went to the official stuff. DMV or DOT website or whatever it's called for your state to see what the current standard issue plates are as of February 1st, 2021. And some of these are brand new, so you might live in one of these states and not even realize they've changed license plates. And of course, whenever I'm ranking something like this, whether it be license plates or welcome signs or flags, it's completely my opinion. So think of these things more like an overview of the license plates just presented in my personal favorite order. Dead last is Texas, and you're not going to hear that phrase very often. See, I'm not going to lie. This is probably nicer than anyone from the UK. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I just look at this, and it's just, it's just got more on it. But it is kind of boring. It's got the state, the, the, um, the actual state, the star, Texas, the Lone Star State. But this is just a really boring Is that place. barcode? It doesn't have to have a bunch of fancy <laughs> colors or graphics, but... This looks like just a temporary tag you would get when you buy a car but haven't gotten your real plate yet. Later on in this video, you'll see how simple it can be done very well and look really good, but this looks like just a really lazy attempt on the part of Texas. Next door neighbor is Louisiana doesn't look all that good either. It's got going a with the bicentennial the for the Battle of New Orleans, but is that really the best thing they Bro, can do? This go is with? nicer than any UK one though. That's the funniest thing. This is literally nicer than anyone in the UK. Unless like in the UK they've changed or something. Whenever I see them, I just, they're all the same. I want to look out the window, not window shot. Well, the you see and one? The font for Louisiana looks like <laughs> one of those old-timey horror movie posters, like, don't go in the house kind of thing. And whenever it has a website on the license plate, it doesn't look really good, and this plate doesn't. <laughs> that is kind of oh, weird. Oh, look, it's Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. Virginia.org. I wonder what state this is. Bro, this one is not nicer than this one. I'm sorry. The Louisiana one is nicer than... I mean, I'm not, it's not that important, Virginia. but it's nice this one. I wonder what state this is a plate for. I think it would look better if it just had Virginia on top and is for lovers on the bottom, but just too much redundancy on this one. The only thing interesting about this plate is a depiction of the statue that sits on top of the state capitol building there, but the letters and numbers of the plate covered up. Overall, pretty lame. The shape of Montana works really well for the shape of a license this is quite plate, cool. but I think there needs to be a little bit of color on here. So either Treasure State Montana or the letters and numbers for the plate itself need to be some type of color. I don't mind that Home one. means Nevada. That's a really strange slogan. I don't fuck? like that at all. And the mountains along the bottom don't look all that good either. It looks almost like 1990s era mountains original so video what game the graphics like PlayStation 1. <laughs> This is just too busy and cluttered, and what is this? if you're slow like me, it might take I you a few seconds anything. to realize that there's a bird on this license plate. 
I was not sure what they were going for here, but I didn't matter. know that until he mentioned it. <laughs> this looks more like an official government plate or a diplomat plate kind of thing. It's got the state seal on there. And also Mississippi's in the process of being sued because this is the one you have to get. And it says, in God we trust on there. And it's already been ruled by the courts. You can't make people have a plate that says, in God we trust. But either way, this thing is still Oh, wow. Out. That's kind of interesting. It seems like Kentucky has gone through a lot of different standard issue plates over the past decade or so. And this one just doesn't look all that good. Later on, you'll see one that is pretty much the exact same as this, but looks a lot better. This one looks pretty bad. <laughs> This one is kind of like Texas. It's pretty simple, but also pretty boring. It does look a little bit better than Texas with the colors, but the spirit of America, Massachusetts, I disagree. Arkansas is the only state in the country diamond in which there's an actual real diamond mine, and a diamond is depicted on the license plate, but the overall oh, wow. plate just doesn't look all that good. For a minute, I thought he was going to say there's an actual diamond on the, the license plate, and I was going to be like, wait, what? Guam's plate depicts <laughs> some flowers in front of a limestone oh, column. Oh, okay. It's a very important symbol for the Chamorro people, but... The overall license plate itself just doesn't look all that good. New Jersey's is pretty simple and clean, and it's easily recognizable as it's the only one that has this color scheme, although I don't think yellow is the best color for a license plate. I've always really liked the simplicity of California's place, but about 10 years ago, they added the stupid DMV website to it, which yeah, single-handedly makes it one of the worst. But that's California right and New Jersey, just before it, are the two states where you can use any plate that's ever been issued. So you can go back and use the old blue one with the yellow letters on there, or okay. you can use the ones that look just like this without the DMV. So I've, I feel like the California license plate, just it's either that or the Miami one. Um, old... Maybe because of like GTA games. Um, I've just, I feel like I've seen them somewhere. Maybe I haven't. Let's see Miami. Maybe it's just in like music videos and stuff and it just sounds more friendly because a lot of things are sort of recording in like California. Oh, um, they look quite cool. Maybe they're what we're going to see. Maybe I'm just ruining it. For the myself. website they are quite nice much better. Miami ones in Florida. I will give Pennsylvania a little bit of credit because it was the first state to have a website on its license plate, even though I don't think it looks all that good. But <laughs> the color scheme state. here is all right. And overall, it's a pretty simple, clean look, but still not one of the best. The Northern Mariana Islands are probably the least known part of the U.S. They're an island chain out in the Pacific Ocean. And just like Guam's, this plate depicts a limestone column, which is an important symbol for the indigenous population of the islands. And the saying Hafa Adai is kind of like the Chamorro equivalent to Hawaii's Aloha. Florida's is just too busy. There's too much on there, and it's all the same. Oh, green we literally color. saw this one. <laughs> I think if they got rid of the outline of the state shape, it would look a lot better. And just say Florida instead of myflorida.com. Its neighbors to the north has the same kind of problem. What it's just the kind of hell? busy. There's too much on there. And Look at the colors on this. Plates you'll see it's later on. They have some busyness on there. A lot of <laughs> stuff going on. But this one just looks a little bit cluttered. Maine just pretty simple. And the term vacation land has been one like of nicknames for I a like long time. Like. It's got the bird on the pine tree. It's kind of dark. It. If you're cool, you Fiend, love tomatoes but... and black capped chickadees. Like just it. like its welcome sign, Vermont goes pretty simple with just green and white font in front of it. It looks okay, but it also does look kind of boring. Delaware's is probably the ugliest one after Texas, but I'm going to give it a nice bump because it's been used since 1958. So they've been using the same thing for, what, 60 years. So I think that's kind of cool. For history to one. Samoa's is the first of a few that uses Samoa. a real photo for its plate, but this photo doesn't really look that good. <laughs> the limestone feature depicted on there was a cool piece of geology, but doesn't make for a great license plate. Although the saying, it means islands of pleasure or islands of fun, well, that's pretty cool. It's got actual picture. After Delaware, hell? North Carolina is, is the one that's been in use for the longest. I think it's been used for about 30 years, and the plate itself is okay, but it's time for an update. There's a lot more to North Carolina than just being where the Wright brothers first took flight. Oh, wow. That makes this sense. This is the new one that the people of Indiana voted on. and I mean, it's okay, but... I think for a new plate that was voted on, it could have been a lot better than this. I think an IndyCar car. The color in these plates is crazy. Grid would have been a lot better. This is another pretty new one, and I like the overall general idea with this one. The silhouettes of various aspects of Iowa, the grass along the bottom, but I think the middle portion should be maybe an off-white or a gray type of thing. It just looks a little bit too white. This is another one that's been around for a while, and maybe it's time this for an update. The sailboat on the top looks almost like Pac-Man got drunk and passed out, and 
the saying America's dairy land <laughs> kind of offends me, being that I'm from America's actual dairy land in Central California. If an evil dictator made us all guess what was going to be on South Dakota's <laughs> license plate in order to stay Everywhere. alive, we'd all still be alive. There's so much more to South Dakota than just Mount Rushmore. How about a dairy cow and a steer in a wheat field or something? Or you got two of the biggest caves in the world in the state. How about a cow in a cave? Seriously, that's South like this Dakota's one. new symbol, a cow in a cave. <laughs> Puerto Rico's depicts the citadel for Castile del Moro, which this looks cool okay, but one. not great. Isla de Encanta. I think this one would look a lot better, but it didn't have the state seal on there. I'm not sure why they put it on there and why it's off-center, but I do like the color scheme of this one. This is the brand new one that celebrates Missouri's bicentennial, and I think it looks pretty good. The wavy lines on the top and bottom represent the river heritage of the state, and the state seal in the middle isn't prominent, so overall, this looks pretty good. Yeah, that's the way it is. Just like middle, South Dakota, actually, you know what's going to end up being on Illinois' plate, although I do think this is a pretty cool depiction of Lincoln, kind of an artistic half photo of him, but I think a better symbol for Illinois would be like an outline of the Sears Tower or the Willis Tower, except this made to look like it's made out of corn. What could be more Illinois than that? <laughs> I do like the way New Hampshire is written across the bottom, and I love their state slogan, although it is kind of in a generic font, and I like the color scheme on there, but still something doesn't look quite right about this when you put it all together. Overall, it's pretty good though. Idaho is often trying to buck the whole idea that it's just about potatoes, so what's the best way to do that? Put famous potatoes on your license plate. <laughs> but the overall scene it depicts is nice, and the way it says scenic Idaho looks pretty good too. I like the simplicity of West Virginia's, the color scheme. I've always liked the wild and wonderful slogan. And we used to have West Virginia plates on one of our cars, and you get some pretty interesting looks when you're driving around with West Virginia plates in the Western US. These are the plates that we get here in Tennessee, and overall, I like it. I like the green, kind of smoky green to reference the Smoky Mountains, but I hate how they added TennesseeVacation.com a few years ago, and I also don't like having See, the me, county name on it. This one is probably one of my least favorites i'm not even gonna lie maybe this bit in the middle is just because it's broken i mean i should assume it's just like tape or something isn't it i know this one looks really clutch. i'm not sure why some states make you have the county name on their plate at first glance it looks kind of weird at birthplace of aviation heart of it all eerie eerie lake lake eerie sorry lighthouse discover ohio this one's got loads on it. What the fuck? Light and flight. After a really long glance, it looks way too cluttered and it says Diamonds. way too much stuff, but Beautiful. I do kind of like it because it's basically a license oh, plate full steel. of subliminal messages. The red, it's white, different. and blue like, color scheme looks really hell, good. Though? Each time you look at this plate, you'll read something different. Like that's got the state This is in the, the brand new one for New York. I think it's a big improvement over the ones they had previously. This is cool. I love it when the state shows depictions of various parts of the state. So this one shows Niagara Falls, the Adirondacks, the Great Lakes, Statue of Liberty, the Manhattan skyline, and lighthouses on Long Island. Pretty good overall depiction of New York. Although I'm not I quite sure why point. it says Excelsior. I like how this one is done up in kind of the color scheme of the state that's shown on the flag, that navy blue with the white. The state slogan is kind of eh, and I wish they would use a different font for South Carolina, or maybe not have it in all caps, but overall it looks pretty good. I like the simplicity of this one. It's the ocean state, and it shows a wave, and I'm not using this as part of the ranking, but Rhode Island has a really cool thing where there's a status symbol associated with having a low number, so they often see people, when they die, they'll leave their low numbered license plate in their will. Kind of interesting. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, something as simple as a rainbow to make you smile. And I wish it said just Aloha instead of Aloha State. And I always find it really interesting when you see one of these driving around the contiguous U.S. A rainbow. No. If a state is going license to insist on having down. a web address on its license plate, well. this is how you do it. Incorporate the state's name within the web address to make it overall look cleaner. And come on, guys, you have 12,000 lakes. Don't sell yourself short like that. <sighs> this is my favorite one of all the really basic ones. This is just really clean and classy. Just looks really good. Now I'm going to bring up Kentucky's again to show for comparison. The yeah, it does look the a lot same nicer. Thing, but Connecticut's just looks so much better. This is another the one that's pretty one. simple. I like the color scheme and the depiction of Mount Rainier there is nice and clean. Just an overall good looking plate. From Washington State to Washington, D.C. 
This one doesn't really look all that great. I'm only ranking it this high for its passive aggressive slogan on there, but I also do like the depiction of the flag in between the letters and numbers. Utah's in that same group of three with South Dakota and Illinois, what where they the often show the same well, thing a... for all their state <laughs> symbols. But it looks Ken, you compare this to the UK, mate. It's just like because I swear, like, I swear, all in the UK we just have the same exact one wherever you go. In the US, each individual state has a different license plate, and they're all just so again so completely different and just unique. Looks good here, and I really do like their state. I symbols. love it so much. This is my favorite of all the territorial license plates. It's got the nice <laughs> tropical flowers area. in the middle and all those tropical fish in the corners. Just an overall great look for a Caribbean <laughs> island chain. And this is the only part of the U.S. where you'll see these plates driving on the left side of the road. Oh, wow. Left Black side Arizona Come on, stand shows up. a basic desert scene with a cactus and a mountain range. And it says Grand Canyon State without having to actually show the Grand Canyon. So just an overall good representation for Arizona. You gotta love how Alaska depicts a brown bear up on its hind <laughs> legs, which is a bear's way of saying, oh, you better recognize. And this license plate is Alaska's way of saying, oh, you better recognize. The pine tree in the middle fits perfectly between the space of the letters and numbers. I like the font for Oregon and the lightly traced mountains in the background. So it's just an overall great representation for Oregon. But even better than that, I like the depiction of the mountains on the Colorado plate. I like how it just says Colorado, nothing else. And of course, you have to have mountains on there and the color looks great too. Another big surprise here, Maryland puts what their the flag hell? on their license plate. I mentioned this in the video about this the welcome strange. sign. I think Maryland likes to slap its flag on just about everything because they know yeah. everybody else hates their flag. It's true because I, 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 I've seen this flag before. I don't know if it's sort of like another flag for something else, but I have seen this flag before. I even started doing these videos. So it's obviously one of the more famous ones but combined for with the reason. font for maryland this plate looks maybe really because it's good. the oldest this is another one that depicts different parts of the state along the top of the plate you have the city type stuff on the left and the forested type stuff on the right the bridge down there at the bottom and the same spectacular peninsulas it's perfect for michigan and it looks great i'm not Here's a fan of that like, a nice okay, landscape and this a clean is cool. manner i love the old western saloon type font for north dakota with the wheat around it boy this the is bias cool. looking at you like what you got a problem and peace garden state is one of the coolest nicknames of all the states well it wouldn't be a video done by me if new mexico oh, wasn't wow. really, really high but i'm not making it this high because i like the state i do think it looks really good i love the color scheme i love the font i love the state nickname land of enchantment and the symbol for the sun overall just a great looking license plate oh i love cool. how alabama's can be really busy without being cluttered it's got a great color scheme with the mountains in the background the gulf and the foreground yeah, look at the, the colors in this one it's a very striking Jesus. license plate again without being cluttered and in my opinion the best Number license one. plate in the u.s is wyoming okay, this i'm is certainly cool. a sucker for western scenery this is actually what so better sick. way to show western scenery than with an actual photo and of course, Wyoming has a little bit of an advantage because they can show a lot more picture type stuff on their license plate because the state has so few people, they don't need many numbers for the license plate. <laughs> the only negative with this is I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up over time. This is a pretty new license plate, so it might look kind of crappy after not too long, but it looks great when it's new. Mm -hmm. So that's my ranking of the U.S. license plates. Again, it's UK, England license. I just need to see this license. Wait, I'm just plates i can't type that at the moment what the hell is going on i swear they're just yellow or white aren't they it's just like so boring bro why can't we have a bit of fun with us like what i'm kind of jealous because their ones the, the us ones are so much nicer so much damn nicer and which is she's got a yellow thing with like GB or England or whatever, and then a couple letters and numbers like bruh. You compare that to this, and it's just like not even the comparison. Something you have to have on your video. Shout out to Geography King, though. This is another really, really interesting video. If an evil is if an evil dictator made us all guess who would be on South Dakota's license plates, would also be alive. Best line in the video. Putting a website on a license plate is so freaking tacky. It is kind of weird. It probably makes sense, but it is kind of weird. As a victim of a hit and run in Texas, I can tell you our plates are extremely easy to read from distance. <laughs> what is it going? <laughs> Fave line, the sailboat on top looks almost like Pac-Man got chunk and passed out. 
I disagree with a lot of these, but I agree with the New Mexico looks great. P.S. Funny that NM has to put USA on the plate, so you don't think it's part of Mexico. I think that New Mexico one was probably one of my favourites as well. It was so crisp, like how like the the flag was in the middle and all these like just sort of the colour schemes and stuff. Again, a lot cooler than any thing from the UK. That's without a doubt. I genuinely think all of these are better than the UK ones, though. I'm not even gonna lie. In terms of like sort of showing where you're from and stuff, I like Vermont. I like. I, I like Vermont, I live in New York and it stands out. You look at our flag, look at it. Um, but I have a question, like say you are in one of these states, so say you're in New Mexico, but you drive to LA, then you move there. Do you have to change it if you move there? I guess you do, right? Because if you move somewhere else, you have to change it. But I guess if you're just sort of visiting for like a holiday or something, you can use your own license plate, I assume. I mean, that, I mean, that would make sense, right? But again, I don't really know, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. More of these on the way. Again, more Geography King reactions if people still want them. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.